The Sterling Risk and Margin Monitor has the ability to look at the risk of a portfolio or all portfolios based on various categorizations. To access this information, click on the Market Risk tab and then Risk Classification. From there, you can select either a single account or all accounts. First, let's take a look at account STT3. Then, you can choose to look at the risk by market cap, industry sector, or SIC code. Please note, you must click the Request button for each request. If you select Market Cap, it will show you the exposure of the risk of the portfolio categorized by market cap. This portfolio has positions and stocks that are between 50 and 150 billion in market cap, stocks that are lower cap between 50 and 50 billion in market cap, and mega stocks that are over 150 billion in market cap. This shows you the exposures as well as the risk shocks. Here, you can see how the risk of your portfolio breaks down between different market cap ranges. You can do this for all portfolios as well. Here you can see the entire set of portfolios and how they look broken down by market cap. It also shows you the percent of exposure by market cap. This entire portfolio has 43% exposure to less than 1 billion market cap companies and 10% exposure to companies between 1 and 5 billion market cap. This gives you a quick representation of how your risk breaks down by market cap. Similarly, you can look at it by industry, sector, or SIC code. Sector is the highest level. If you click on sector, you will see the core sectors and how the market values and risk numbers break out by sector. If you select industry, it is a more granular classification. These are the broad, high-level industries. Within each of these industries, you can drill down and see sub-industries. For example, under automotive, this portfolio has major automotive manufacturers. In banking, it has money center banks. In computer equipment, it has application software and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Each of these industries have several sub-industries and you can see how the risk of the portfolio is broken down by industry as well as sub-industry. Note that there are a fixed set of five different shocks 20%, 10%, both parallel move shocks, a 10% up parallel move shock, and two beta adjusted shocks up 5% and down 5%. These can be changed if needed by request. On the Columns tab to the right, you can click to customize which columns you would like to see. For example, if you are not interested in exposure numbers and you just want to see the net exposure of the market value, you can unselect the columns and also move them around. The last categorization is the SIC code. We use the standard industry classification codes, SIC, and then, as you can see, we display the SIC codes. SIC codes are four-digit codes with the two digits representing the highest level. For example, SIC code 28 represents chemicals and allied products. If you drill down, then you will see the first level down, which is 283 for drugs. If you click one level down further, you will then see the most granular industry classifications under SIC, which is 2834 and 2836. Then you can see your exposures and risk by each of the levels under the standard industry classification. Thanks for watching.